In this video, you will learn what a template is, how to insert multiple templates into a single bartender document, and how to control the frequency with which each template prints. Additionally, you will see two real-world use cases. Start with a new bartender document. The first things to notice are the tabs at the bottom of the design area. These tabs show the current templates in the document and provide some basic control over them. A bartender document must have at least one template. A template is the design area containing the objects that make up your printed design. A bartender document may contain multiple templates that can be conditionally printed based on changing values, such as database fields or serialized numbers. To insert a template, click the Insert Template tab. As you can see in the tab section, you now have Template 1 and Template 2. You can add a single line text object to template 1 and then click on the template 2 tab to switch the design view. Notice that template 2 does not contain the text object you just added to template 1 because they are separate design areas. Templates print in order from left to right, so currently template 1 will print first, followed by template 2. You can change the print order by dragging a template tab left or right. Template 2 will now print first, followed by Template 1. The Template Context menu, which you can open by right-clicking on a Template tab, contains additional controls, including deleting or renaming a template. Select Properties to open the Template Properties dialog. You will notice that the Page Setup dialog opens on the Templates tab. Using the Item Templates list, you can easily see how your templates are organized, reorder the templates, control the frequency with which each template prints, and specify conditional printing criteria for each template. Using the template toolbar, you can add new templates, remove existing templates, and reorder the templates already in the list. In addition to using the arrows on the templates toolbar, templates can also be dragged into different item template folders. Templates placed in the start of job folder will print only once, at the beginning of the print job. Templates placed in the start of group folder will print each time the specified data source changes, as specified in the group field option. For templates in this folder, copy count and serialization count are ignored. The initial template in the document and templates added using the template tabs will always be placed in the primary templates folder. The templates that you place in this folder may print multiple times based on the copies and or serialization settings. Templates placed in the end of group folder will print each time the specified data source changes. Templates placed in the end of job folder will print only once at the end of the print job. Now for a look at the first real-world use case, inserting separator labels. On this template, there is a text object indicating the weight. Notice that the source of the data for this object is a database field. By reviewing the connected database, you will see that this document will print one 70-pound label and two 50-pound labels. Now click Print Preview, and you will see one 70-pound label and two 50-pound labels. You can configure this document to print separator labels between each label. Insert a new blank template by clicking the Insert Template tab. Remember that each template contains its own design. In this case, a simple text object indicating that this is a separator label will do. Use the context menu to rename the template. Select Print Preview and you can see that a separator label prints between each product label. Instead of printing the separator label after every product label, suppose you only want the separator label to print right before a new weight prints. You can control when the template prints by setting a condition. Open the Template Context menu and select Properties to open the Template Properties dialog. Move the separator label to the end of Group folder and then click the icon next to Group Field. The separator label needs to print each time a new weight is printed, so set the Group field to monitor that database field. Close Page Setup. If you do a print preview, you will see the separator label only prints when a new weight is printed. And now for a look at the second real-world use case, conditionally printing templates. Consider a scenario where a produce company receives orders for shipments of watermelons. 
The print job should begin with a label indicating a new order was received. The watermelons are packaged in labeled cartons and stored on pallets, so a label must be printed each time a new pallet starts and ends. Finally, each print job must end with a label marking the end of the order. All of these labels can be printed by using a single document with multiple templates that are conditionally printed. Conditional printing is based on monitoring a changing value and then executing an action when the value changes. Here is a database prepared to print the supply chain watermelon labels. Two pallets will be filled in this order. The first pallet will have three 70-pound boxes, while the second pallet will have two 70-pound boxes and one 50-pound box. Here is the document connected to the database. It already contains all of the templates for this print job, except one, the end of order template. You can duplicate an existing template by using the tab context menu. Right-click the template tab and select copy. Then right-click the template tab again and select paste. Change the template text and use the context menu to rename the new template accordingly. Drag the end of order template all the way to the right. Now you need to tell Bartender when you want each template to print. Open the template context menu and select properties. Move the new order and end of order templates to their respective folders. These labels will only print once, at the beginning and end of the print job. Move the new pallet template to the start of group folder and click the group field icon to set the print condition. Select pallet as the database field to monitor. Do the same thing for the end pallet template as you did for the new pallet template. Move it to the end of group folder and click the group field icon to set the print condition. Leave the box label in the primary templates folder. Click OK. The entire process is ready to print. You can see the three 70-pound box templates print for pallet 1, then two 70-pound boxes and one 50-pound box prints for pallet 2. And that's it.